So far, the farms we've seen have been in attics and bedrooms. But here in Glasgow's trendy West End, police have been finding farms on an altogether different scale. We can't reveal the exact location, but these are factories which are fueling the skunk market in Scotland. And the whole property has been completely um, converted uh, to be used as uh, a cultivation site. And into a room on the left hand side, and here we can see the scale of the cultivation. Um, hundreds and hundreds of, of plants. These ones over here at the seedling stage. Uh, these ones here are also at the seedling stage, uh, and the ones that are in the propagators. But these seedlings are just the beginning. Everywhere police turn, there are more and more plants. Very healthy plants, properly cultivated. And again, a further growing area. One, two, three growing areas to the front of the house. The sea of green. A complete room converted into a cannabis cultivation. Growing areas where the plants are heavier with bud, indicating that they are older. And a further room. Again, plants that are heavy with bud, not just quite ready for harvesting. There's a, a pumping system being used where the pump's dropped into the water, the nutrients are mixed in the bath, and it's fed down through the hose, either into this drum, or the hose itself is, is rolled out to the cultivation rooms where the plants are watered. To channel away both the pungent smell of skunk and the intense heat from the lights, an entire ventilation system stretches throughout all four floors of this giant cannabis factory. So you come into this area here, what we see is we have a number of growing areas with this series of um, ventilation ducts running, not just a across the ceiling, but along the floor area with the uh, homemade pipes going into the different rooms. It would be my view that each one of those plants, even the seedlings, would be growing to, uh, to yield cannabis to the value of approximately £300 per plant. And all this in a townhouse in Glasgow's West End.